hello welcome once again to my channel how are you all been pairing so today i just want to show you how you can repurpose an old fabric so i have on my table this about a quarter um meter of fabric like you can see it's already folded at the edge so it's an old fabric if it's a scarf sometimes you wonder you don't need it what should you do with it that's what today's class is all about so it's all about repurposing like diy so what you do is you repurpose a piece you have and make it into something fabulous so welcome to style with ufuma or Malone. if it's your first time on my channel you're welcome so all those who have subscribed I will keep staying tuned to my channel. Thank you also very much. So let's get into today's class. So for those of you that have not subscribed, all you need to do is click on the bell. It notifies you and you subscribe. So anytime I post a new video, you get to see it. And don't forget at the end of the video, if you've enjoyed it or learned something, feel free to give a thumbs up. And it's interesting to know you can also share to your friends so i have about a quarter one one quarter meter here yeah? okay so right now it's on fold so i'm going to be needing that and i also got a matching plain fabric so this green i picked one of the colors inside here so i said to go with the green so green plain fabric to contrast beautifully so this is just about under a meter okay so it depends on how long you want your sleeve to be. So to start cutting, I'm going to fold this into two. Again, so what you have is into four folding. That's what we're going to get here. So now it depends because I'm not going to be using this for my sleeve. I don't, it doesn't matter which way I cut this. Okay. So normally this is the folded part and this is opened. If I'm going to make use of this, then I need to cut to add the fold for the sleeve, like so. But because I really don't care, I don't want to use this for the sleeve, I can decide to turn this the other way. So the folded side comes this way for the sleeve. Okay? So you need to take note of that when you're going to start cutting. So you just fold like a triangle way, sideways like that and like this so now we need to check the length how long would you want it so i want mine to be my top tunic top that i want to make is it comes with this folded cow neck i want it to be about 35 inches that's the sewing so yeah 36 is going to be fine so like that so what i'm going to do once this is like this Okay, sideways, I'm going to get my scissors. I'm just going to cut. Remember, I'm not taking measurements. I don't really bother about that at this point. So I'm just cutting sideways. It's really easy once you get the angle of it. So if I take this off, what you find is this. And if I put this this way, so it goes the other way to form like a sleeve but I'm, use, I'm not using this for the sleeve so i'm going to put this aside first and i want to show you what i've got here so this is my fold and this is going to serve as the bodies of the top so now i want to see i want to get the bust before i proceed we're going to come back to the bit i took out so first and foremost i want to see the width all together here is about 15 which is 60 and i feel that would be too much so i want it to be a free wear for a large size like from size 16 size 14 to 18 can wear so i'm just going to make like an a shape all the way to the base there's no shape to this just an a so if you come and check the bottom part you need to check it depending on your size so what i have here is about 13 which is 52. so if your waist is more your hip is more than 52 you want to still open this more you don't want to work with that so you open the bottom according to your hip so you can make it smaller 
or bigger so i'm just going to take my scissors and i'm going to cut that leaving one inch for my sewing allowance okay so that's off the way so now this side uh, this is settled i'm going to get my plain fabric and i'm going to fold that into two and into two again so it's into four so depending on how long you want it so i want mine to be about 22 inches long so for this part i'm going to be making this about 20 then i'm going to add the other matching fabric the remnant of this to the length so just you need to watch this to the end don't be in a hurry it's simple but yet tricky so don't forget you need to subscribe to keep seeing my videos as they drop if you don't subscribe you don't see them so this 16 i'm going to fold again until i can get about 19 or more so it depends on how much you want your sleeve to be okay so yeah so at this point now i'm going to cut so near yeah, there's no add and fast throw it depends on what you want so now i'm going to place this back here so this is going to be my sleeve so this is going to come here you remember the sleeve we took so you're not confused remember we took this out earlier so this is what we're trying to recreate the same shape so if you are confused you take that bit and then you can cut the shape out using that cut out as a pattern okay so we can take this and keep it aside for now and i'm going to bring this back up and i'm going to bring this back here as you can see okay so that's our sleeve so you may wonder what's next now after this so what's next now is we're going to get the neckline so we're going to get the neckline while it's this way and this you can shape in it depends on how you how wide you want the sleeve to be so i'm just going to take off some bits out of that part okay so that serves as my sleeve so now we're going to do some cutting but the final cutting for the neckline is going to happen when we must have stitched i prefer to work safe so i'm just going to take my tape measure and i'm going to measure the neckline i'm going to do um two and a half inches and this way i'm going to do two and a half inches this neckline is just tentative when we're done with the joining then i'm going to bring down the front neckline as well i'm going to make it wider but i prefer to go small instead of going home so you can see so we're going to stitch this to the sides and close the sides up then come back to stitch it um, to cut the neckline i'm going to bring the neckline for the front i'm going to bring it to about four inches depth then the back is going to remain high like the way it is then i'm going to extend the the width of the neckline to about three or three and a half inches to be able to accommodate accommodate the neckline so we are not done yet so the next thing we want to do now is for the sleeve i want this fabric to be at the base so we're going to add this to the base so i'm just going to fold this into two using what i've got to make like a band for the sleeve so what it does is just add a little bit of sass a little bit of you know spunk or kick to your top whatever you want to call that so it's not plain and boring so i'm going to fold this into two i'm just going to use all what i've got here so i'm going to be using about three inches on fold so remember it's three inches on fold so after sewing it's going to be two and a half so i'm going to get my scissors and i'm going to cut so i'm keeping 
the last side and this is going to be stitched onto that so i'm just going to yeah so we'll stitch that and add it to the top now the next thing we need to also do the last thing is for the neckline now we need to make like a fold for the neck okay so this rest of the fabric is going to be stitched like that area so you need about 28 to 30 for it to go around your head to be able to fit so what i'm going to do is so this is fine it depends on how um wide you want it what i have here the depth is about 10 inches and the width is about unfold is 14 which is 28 inches so i don't need to touch this all i would need to do is close the sides like that fold over and add this to the neckline so let me go sew and come show you the fascinating top i come up with yeah so i just finished sewing this so like you can see i've added the sleeve and that's the band at the base so now we're going to cut the neckline so i'm going to you know this was not wide enough so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold back the top into two like that so now i'm going to recut the neck so now first i want to do the width i need about 27 inches or 28 for the total circumference of the neckline so i'm going to make this about four inches so that it can be wide enough to go through my head okay depends on the size of your head it could be three and a half but i'm going to do four then for the front neckline i'm going to do four as well so i'm only doing this to guide you but i'm going to open it up separately so i don't get the back and the front the same depth so all i'm going to do first is just to get the width for the back and the front so using the four inches i'm going to cut that first like you see me doing okay so once i've done that now i'm going to open up and just have just the front neckline so i'm having just the front i just want to bring down the front not the back and the front so yeah and when you cut if after cutting you still see it doesn't fit through your head by all means feel free to still bring it down or widen it the cut yeah so now i have the neckline done okay so that is it so the back is higher and the front is lower so i'm going to get my tape and i'm going to check what i have here for the second friends if it tallies with what i have for yeah so that's okay 20 almost 28 so I did four by four. Now this is the total neck. This is the neck line. This will be going to be the total neck or the eye neck or the cow neck or whatever you try to call it. So opening it up like this, I just stitched that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it inside out like so and make sure that it's wrong side to wrong side. So all your stitching now becomes invincible it's not going to be accurate okay so that's the neckline that's what's going to give us that eye neckline so this part that is stitched is going to be at the back that's what i'm going to do so that shows you which is the back of the top of the total neck top and which is the front so all i need to do at this point is just get my pins pin it and stitch this all over the neck and our total neck top it's ready so the next time you see this it's going to be the finished top so if you've enjoyed the um tutorial the total neck top tutorial do not forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until i come your way next week or next time is bye from me